Hi everyone. Good morning. Am I audible and visible? Hi everyone. Good morning. Am I audible and visible? Okay. So good morning everyone and uh, welcome to this uh, session a very important session guys where we are going to talk about evidence screening mcqs okay so this is a psm trio that we are going to have today as well as tomorrow at 9 am so we will be covering epid screening and we will be covering biostats in this session okay it is one of the most important like three of the most important topics that could uh, you know come in your inict also neat pg also fmg exams also okay so we will be talking about epidemiology screening biostat it the session can extend for 1 hour 15 minutes today today we'll focus on epidemic screening and tomorrow at 9 am we will be covering biostats okay good Good morning. So good to see everybody at 9 a.m. again. All right. So before I begin, just a little heads up for all of you that till 31st March, An Academy is giving you 25% off on medical PG subscription. Okay, it is available. The, you'll get a combo offer which is live plus recorded classes at 17983, and you can use my code PSM10 to access this. Okay, so if you want the Neat PG Vitals plus, which is the hybrid mode recorded as well as live session, you can. think about subscribing to this all right we've helped a lot of learners achieve their dream and i hope we can be a part of your journey too okay also there is a next neat pg batch which is starting from the 28th of march which has just started so you can still avail it at a price of 21580 these are your wonderful educators who are going to help you all those who are preparing for next okay all right so we have uh, uh, 200 plus classes with uh, 400 plus hours with all integrated questions pyq images everything will be included in this module so you have also a high yield revision batch for inict which is available on score unacademy stores and a last mile preparation batch also which is available on scores okay daily targets for psm will be uh, given from 1st of april right now i have been putting out inict topics okay which have been asked in the previous examinations all right so right now mai wo de rahi hu so based on that pyq list which i have given out year wise daily revision uh, daily topics for your revision and videos will be put out from 1st of april okay right now if you focus i have been sharing all the important topics from the previous uh, inict papers right from 2017 okay so usi mein hame wo karna hai that uh, can also be followed by neat pg as well as fmg students okay so let us start we couldn't finish this session last time so now we are going to focus on epid and screening both okay epid and screening mcqs is what we are going to focus in this morning session so community intervention study what is it guys what is the answer very good uh, riya very good dr rathor so the answer to this is of course this is word is an intervention so of course and of course it is a field trial okay of course it is a field trial okay we are just continuing from where we left last time because of some technical issues we couldn't complete epid so we'll be doing it today okay along with screening mcqs very good guys so obviously my next question to you is what is a cross sectional study what is a cohort study how do you classify a cross sectional how do you classify a cohort and how do you classify the other study designs right so the next topic which is very very important for any exam is guys classification of study designs so how do you classify the study designs who's going to tell me how do we classify the study designs so whenever you have to classify the study designs you have to divide it into two broader headings okay what are those two broader headings like this is an important topic important topic for inict for neat pg for fmg koi bhi bachche is topic se uh like you know it can come in your exams so you always have two one is observational study design okay and one is interventional okay observational and interventional now when i talk about observation we are simply observing like when you go to meet someone okay you want to meet someone you first go uh, while going you're looking at that person how that person is looking and all that then only you ask okay what will you have coffee tea that is like an intervention okay so observational is further divided into two types what are those two further divided into one is your descriptive okay 
and the other one is your analytical so once you go back home your mother asks you how is the person that you met so you describe so descriptive is always in terms of time place person okay for a disease also we describe in terms of time place and person and analytical is the next question that your parents ask was this person better than the previous person that you've met or not okay so in analytical remember there is always a comparison group okay all right this is also a pyq what is the difference between descriptive and analytical so in descriptive you never have a comparison group in analytical you will always have a comparison group so analytical answers why and how why and how were diseases occurring so what are the different types of descriptive study designs guys it is case report one is your case report one is your case series and what about analytical study designs one is your cross sectional study design okay one is cross sectional one is ecological one is our case control as well as cohort okay case control and cohort so they will definitely ask you the examples of different type of study designs and what about interventional guys interventional is where we are doing some experiment we are doing something so like rcts randomized control trials they are what drug trials okay then you have field trials in field trials what are we testing vaccines okay and you have community trials okay which are the preventive trials to jahan pe bhi aap intervention karoge that is going to become your interventional study design is it clear everybody understood this classification of study design it's very very important please don't forget it so my next question is that why do you do a study design if i ask you so all these study designs are helping us formulate a hypothesis okay one is helping us to test a hypothesis and one is helping us to confirm a hypothesis so which one helps us to formulate a hypothesis guys for formulation of a hypothesis we are going to have descriptive study design to test a hypothesis we have analytical study design and to confirm a hypothesis we have experimental study design okay so that is very very important again this is a pyq all right so the first part we have done is classification of study design next we have to study about the tools which are used in epidemiology okay so answer this the following is true about prevalence and incidence what is it what is the answer to this guys the following is true about prevalence and incidence very good so all i'm trying to teach in this topic is another very important topic which is tools of epid okay so when you have to talk about the tools of epid it is of three types okay we use a rate we use a proportion and we use a ratio rate proportion as well as ratio so in ratio it is very uh, see everywhere wherever you are talking about rate ratio or proportion they're going to have a n and a d okay n and a d but in when i talk about a ratio guys okay it's very simple numerator is not part of denominator okay numerator is not a part of denominator in ratio in rate what happens n is part of d okay n is part of d proportion also n is part of d but what is the difference then what is the difference what is the difference whenever you have to talk about rate hamara multiplier can be 1000 10000 or 1 lakh okay but whenever i talk about a proportion proportion is like a percentage so the multiplier is always going to be 100 theek hai proportion to hamesha percentage hai right everybody so if it is a percentage your multiplier is always going to be a 100 got it now here the question was incidence and prevalence so is incidence a rate or incidence a uh, proportion so for that you just need to know the definition of incidence and prevalence what is incidence incidence is equal to the number of new cases okay a um, number of new cases of a disease that develop over a particular time period divided by the total population at risk okay total population at risk 
and what are you going to multiply with thousand so numerator becomes a part of denominator and multiplier is thousand so what is incidence actually it's a rate okay incidence is actually a rate but if you talk about prevalence guys prevalence mein kya hota hai it is total number of cases that means new plus old divided by the total population okay and multiplier is 100 so prevalence mein multiplier 100 ho gaya so prevalence is actually not a rate it's actually a proportion so both are rates no prevalence is a rate no prevalence is a proportion incidence is a rate but prevalence is not absolutely correct incidence to rate hai why because the multiplier is thousand okay got it everyone what is the relationship between prevalence and incidence so remember that is also as prevalence is equal to i into d duration of a disease so i'll give yeah. so here i'll write you prevalence is equal to i into d d is the duration of a disease okay this relationship is also asked in our exams okay okay now look at this which of the following statements is incorrect next part we are going to solve a question based on uh, the equation p is equal to i into d okay so what is the answer to this anybody all right what is the answer to this incidence is probability that a healthy individual will develop the disease during a specified period is option a correct is incidence is is incidence a probability that a healthy individual will develop the disease during a specified period yes all of us are suppose exposed to a particular disease how many of us go on to develop covid okay so that is incidence so this is correct this is true okay incidence will decrease if a new drug is effective in reducing deaths from the disease we have to think about the statement incidence measures absolute risk of developing a disease absolutely true now see new drug agar aap laate ho so what is the relationship p is equal to i into d right p is equal to i into d now here it says incidence will decrease if a new drug is effective in reducing deaths from the disease will the incidence decrease or what is going to happen incidence will only decrease if a particular preventive prevention program is effective theek hai incidence kab decrease hoga this statement option b is absolutely incorrect okay incidence is going to decrease if a particular prevention program because prevention program is going to focus on the risk factors so incidence will decrease there but what is going to happen if you launch a new drug now this is a very important pyq guys which comes in our exam listen to it very carefully okay very good vandana suppose i launch a new drug okay suppose we launch a new drug now this new drug can do two things it can either cure a disease this is very important for nict also it can either cure a disease or what can it do ek to it can cure a disease dusra it does not cure a disease okay does not cure a disease disease ko cure nahi karta but what does it do guys but it prolongs survival okay it prolongs survival example art now uh, H uh, A R T drugs do they cure H I V? No, they prolong survival. So now you will live longer with H I V. Okay. So what is going to happen in the first case where it has cured a disease? P is equal to I into D. So when a disease is cured, D decreases. So P decreases. Got it? Understood? Everybody, this is very very important. okay but if it does not cure a disease but it prolongs the survival guys theek hai like art you are going to live longer with that particular disease so in this case what happens d increases so p increases are you clear with both this situation give me a thumbs up and since it's a drug is it going to do anything on the risk factors will it affect the risk factors guys no it's a drug the disease has already occurred okay so please remember जब भी भी हम कोई प्रिवेंटिव मोडालिटी लाएंगे इट विल डिक्रीज द इंसिडेंस बट वेन एवर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एनी ड्रग और एनी थिंग इट कैन आई द क्योर अ डिजीज और प्रोलॉन्ग सर्वाइवल सो दिस इज द सिचुएशन हियर 
got it vandana everybody understood give me a thumbs up if you understood this if a new drug is curing a disease तो ड्यूरेशन कम हो जाएगा सो प्रेवलेंस विल डिक्रीज बट इफ अ न्यू ड्रग डज नॉट क्योर अ डिजीज बट इट प्रोलोंग योर सर्वाइवल ड्यूरेशन विल इंक्रीज सो प्रेवलेंस विल इंक्रीज ओके चलो ऑल राइट सो दिस वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड नाउ टेल मी विथ स्टडी डिजाइन इज दिस मोस्ट एक्सपेक्टेड इन आर एग्जाम्स नाउ अ डेज इज वेयर वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई अ स्टडी डिजाइन ठीक है हाउ विल यू आइडेंटिफाई सो एम गोइंग टू गिव यू अ कॉमन अप्रोच बट कैन यू रीड दिस ब्रिटिश इन्वेस्टिगेटर्स कंडक्टेड अ स्टडी टू कंपेयर एम एम आर वैक्सीन हिस्ट्री अमांग वन टू नाइन फोर चिल्ड्रेन विद परवेसिव डेवलपमेंट डिसऑर्डर लाइक ऑटिज्म एज पर्चर्स एंड फोर फोर सिक्स नाइन चिल्ड्रेन विदाउट सच डिसऑर्डर्स दे फाउंड नो एसोसिएशन दिस इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ विच टाइप ऑफ स्टडी a similar type of question was asked in the neat pg this time we have discussed it before also but what is your approach dekho guys aajkal they don't ask you directly like relative risk is calculated from which study design or odds ratio is calculated from which study design nahi puchte they ask you about you know how to identify just a second yeah so what is your answer everyone okay so now like i said we have to know the procedure how to identify a study design so uh, c and e dono kaise answer it give me one answer okay so most of you are saying c why are you saying c now there are certain uh, you know i will give you a lot of examples where you can identify where you will learn how to identify a study design okay so approach is number 1 please figure out what is the exposure and outcome theek hai mera exposure kya hai and what is the outcome okay that's the first thing that we all need to figure out the exposure as well as the outcome then we have to figure out are we going forward uh, what are we comparing okay comparison group so when i talk about comparison group is it exposed versus non exposed okay is it exposed versus non exposed or is it disease to versus non disease okay disease to versus non disease this is what you have to figure out and the third thing you have to figure out the direction direction means are you going forward or are you going backwards okay direction is are you going forward or are you going backwards so these are the things that we need to figure out guys ओके एक्सपोजर आउटकम क्या है कंपैरिजन ग्रुप क्या है एक्सपोज्ड वर्सेस नॉन एक्सपोज्ड एंड व्हाट इज द डायरेक्शन सो हियर यू कैन सी व्हाट इज योर एक्सपोजर कैन यू टेल मी यू कंडक्टेड अ स्टडी टू कंपेयर एमएमआर वैक्सीन हिस्ट्री वी आल्सो हैव द वर्ड हिस्ट्री हिस्ट्री मींस वी आर गोइंग बैकवर्ड्स राइट दैट्स द फर्स्ट थिंग हिस्ट्री का मतलब होता है हम पीछे जा रहे एंड व्हाट आर वी डूइंग जस्ट बिकॉज आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट वैक्सीन डजेंट मेक इट एन आर आई एम नॉट डूइंग अ ट्रायल हियर ओके i am just comparing i have two groups see 1 to 9 for children with autism and 4 4 6 9 children without such disorders so again you are just taking a population where you have divided it into children with autism no autism okay and you are going backwards and asking their mothers did they take mmr vaccine or not okay mmr vaccine liya no vaccine theek hai similarly mmr vaccine did they take no vaccine are you understanding guys you are just going backwards and ask taking a history that whether they took the mmr vaccine or they did not take the mmr vaccine it's not a cohort cohort kaise hoga you already have two groups plus there is one more thing guys autism is it very common among children no it's a rare thing okay it's a rare disorder so when you talk about a rare disorder or anything we will always do a case control got it everyone did you understand this they go it was clearly mentioned that you have two groups children with autism without autism and you're taking a history that means you're going back 
and asking them about what this thing yeah data obtained from secondary source that is a different thing here all right here you have two groups can you appreciate that all right yahan pe british and two groups pe matlab you are just going backwards and taking a history the word history was also there in ecological you are always there at the same point of time okay you determine exposure and outcome at the same point of time using secondary data okay hey you never go forwards or backwards am i clear everybody many students have a tendency to mark it as a clinical trial please don't mark it as a trial because hamare paas already cases occur ho chuke all right we have two groups we are comparing diseased to non diseased autism no autism which is a rare disorder also going back and asking did the child uh, did uh, did the child receive mmr vaccine or did the child not receive mmr vaccine got it everyone understood this one okay thumbs up this is very very important simple sa question hai but aapko thoda sa dimag mein rakhna hai what about this one can you mark it again another way to identify a study design the iowa women's health study in which researchers enrolled 41837 women in 1986 and collected exposure and lifestyle information to assess the relationship between these factors and subsequent occurrence of cancer this is an example of which study design anyone एक्सपेरिमेंटल है कोहॉट केस कंट्रोल क्लिनिकल ट्रायल इकोलॉजिकल नाउ जस्ट लुक इट इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फिगर आउट वॉट इज द एक्सपोजर वॉट इज द आउटकम वॉट इज द एक्सपोजर एंड आउटकम सो देर इज अ वुमेन्स हेल्थ स्टडी इन विच रिसर्चर्स हैव एनरोल्ड सो मेनी वुमेन नाउ दिस इज ऑल्सो अ हिंट वी नीड वी ऑलवेज हैव अ बिगर सैम्पल साइज इन अ कोहॉट स्टडी ठीक है दैट इज फर्स्ट हिंट इन अ केस कंट्रोल यू कैन नेवर हैव सो मच ऑफ सैम्पल ओके बिकॉज यू ऑलवेज स्टार्ट with diseased and non diseased okay so this is a hint you have so much of sample so it is the first thing is that it is hinting towards cohort in 1986 so in 1986 we had so many women okay we collected exposure and lifestyle information so let's say we asked about lifestyle mein alcohol no alcohol okay alcohol versus no alcohol suppose we are talking about that okay so alcohol versus no alcohol now this this becomes what this of course becomes my exposure status okay those who drink alcohol and those who did not and assess the relationship between these factors and subsequent occurrence subsequent occurrence of cancer matlab that in due course did cancer occur or not so this clearly means that we are moving forward it's not exp just rule out your options is it experimental are we doing any trial are we giving a drug are we giving a vaccine no we are not doing any such thing is it a case control no because we are looking at subsequent occurrence means it is follow up okay we are doing a follow up for cancer and what are we comparing exposed and non exposed so it's not a clinical trial also in ecological we may We never move forwards or backwards. We are standing at the same point of time, so we are left with cohort. Got it, everyone? Which type of cohort is it? Prospective cohort or retrospective cohort? कौन सी तरह का cohort है, guys? Prospective cohort or retrospective cohort? Since you are moving forwards, okay. Since we are moving forwards, everybody, this becomes which type of cohort, guys? It's definitely a very good prospective cohort. Okay, we are moving. guys can you hear me yeah okay 500 women aged 40 to 54 who present for routine checkups are asked about their meat consumption 20% of the women turn out to be veggies and during the ensuing 5 years five veggies and 43 non veggies develop colorectal cancer which of the study best describes this can you tell me the answer over here we'll go to prospective and retrospective ns first let's try to understand then i'll show you prospective uh, retrospective cohort also okay 
सो इसका आंसर बताओ क्या है ना लुक एट दिस सैम्पल अगेन दैट्स अ ह्यूज नंबर इन केस कंट्रोल यू कैन नॉट हैव दैट ह्यूज नंबर फर्स्ट थिंग ओके देन वॉट इज आई टोल्ड यू विल फिगर आउट वॉट इज द एक्सपोजर एंड वॉट इज द आउटकम सो वॉट इज द एक्सपोजर ओवर हिया गाइज वॉट इज द एक्सपोजर इस क्वेश्चन में एक्सपोजर क्या है मीट ओके दैट मीन्स वी आर कंपेयरिंग वॉट वेजीज एंड नॉन वेजीज राइट वी आर कंपेयरिंग वॉट वेजीज एंड नॉन वेजीज ग्रुप राइट वी आर कंपेयरिंग वेजीज एंड नॉन वेजीज ग्रुप ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द वुमेन टर्न आउट टू बी वेजीज ड्यूरिंग द एंश्यूइंग एंड एंश्यूइंग मीन्स नेक्स्ट इट्स जस्ट अ वर्ड ऑफ इंग्लिश दैट दे हैव प्लेड विथ ओके इन द एम सी क्यू एंश्यूइंग मीन्स ड्यूरिंग द नेक्स्ट फाइव ईयर्स ओके वी आर फॉलोइंग दैम अप एंड वी आर सींग ड्यूरिंग द नेक्स्ट फाइव ईयर्स फाइव वेजीज एंड फोर्टी थ्री नॉन वेजीज डेवलप कोलोरेक्टल कैंसर सो विच इज द बेस्ट टाइप ऑफ स्टडी डिजाइन दैट डिस्क्राइब्स कोहट इज इट केस सीरीज नो हियर यू आर हैविंग टू ग्रुप्स ओके in a, a case series is a descriptive study design where you cannot have a comparison group theek hai so yahan pe itne sare women hai you ask them about uh, veggies okay and we ask them about non veggies all right and we are just following them up and showing for 5 years to see how many of them develop cancer no cancer theek hai idhar bhi cancer no cancer so this is definitely not a case control because we are moving forward cross sectional mein we are always standing at the same point of time never forward never backward and it's definitely not a clinical trial because we are not giving any drugs got it everyone thumbs up did you understand q ye cohort hai and which type of cohort because we are moving forward in time it is a prospective cohort okay you will call it as a prospective cohort or you will also call it you can also call it as a concurrent cohort concurrent means we are moving forward parallelly with time theek hai understood everybody okay now i will tell you uh, this thing also pehle isko karo i'll i'll tell you i'll show you an image where i'll teach you the difference between prospective and retrospective also cohort but abhi isko karo residents of three villages with three different types of water supply were asked to participate in a study to identify cholera carriers because several cholera deaths have occurred in the recent past virtually everyone present at the time okay at the time submitted to examination the proportion of residents in each village who were carriers were computed and compared now what type of study design is it is it a cross sectional is it case control concurrent cohort means forward and non concurrent cohort means retrospective cohort what is it now how will you identify see i have told you one very important thing if you go forward ठीक है इट इज अ प्रोस्पेक्टिव कोहट इफ यू गो बैकवर्ड्स एंड यू आर कंपेयरिंग केसेस एंड कंट्रोल्स इट इज डेफिनेटली अ केस कंट्रोल स्टडी डिजाइन बट इन अ क्रॉस सेक्शनल एंड इकोलॉजिकल स्टडी यू नेवर गो फॉरवर्ड और बैकवर्ड्स तो यहाँ पे क्या हो रहा है एंड प्लस यू हैव थ्री डिफरेंट ग्रुप सी यू हैव थ्री विलेजेस गाइस विलेज वन विलेज टू विलेज थ्री इफ इट वाज अ कोहॉट और अ केस कंट्रोल आर वी वोंट हैव थ्री डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स वी वुड हैव द सेम ग्रुप दैट्स द फर्स्ट थिंग ऑल राइट वेरी गुड शिफाली एट पॉइंट स्टडी येस वेरी गुड सो रेसिडेंट्स ऑफ थ्री विलेजेस विथ थ्री डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ वॉटर सप्लाई वर आज टू पार्टिसिपेट इन अ स्टडी to identify cholera carriers okay so three villages may we want to identify cholera carriers so one team is going here one team is going here one team is going here so the important thing is that we are comparing we are comparison of three groups okay we are doing we are comparing three groups at same point of time okay at same point of time at same point of time what are we doing we are comparing three groups are you understanding ठीक है इफ इट वॉज अ कोहॉट और अ केस कंट्रोल अ ग्रुप वुड हैव बीन द सिंगल ग्रुप बट यहाँ हम थ्री ग्रुप्स को कंपेयर कर रहे हैं एट सेम टाइम एंड वी आर जस्ट आस्किंग हाउ मनी कॉलरा कैरियर्स आर प्रेजेंट इन विलेज वन विलेज टू एज वेल एज विलेज थ्री सो वॉट इज हैपनिंग वी आर डूइंग एक्सपोजर एंड आउटकम डिटर्मिनेशन एट सेम पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम यूजिंग विच डेटा यूजिंग 
primary data okay using primary data we determine exposure and outcome at same point of time using which data guys using primary data like as a researcher i myself is collecting the information i'm not relying on any already collected information so it becomes a cross sectional study all right everybody did you understand this okay you can ask all your questions towards the end uh, just remember one thing in cohort you go forward in case control you go backwards in cross sectional you are standing at the same point of time and computing using primary data all right plus case uh, cross sectional mein kabhi bhi hum three groups nahi uh, in ke in cohort or case control your group is going to be the same here you had three different groups now look at one more question what is the answer to this The health statistics department revealed that the sale of anti-asthma drugs were more in those countries where asthma deaths were more. Okay, the association may prove wrong when individual-based study designs are conducted. Now, what is this? This is an example of ecological fallacy, Bergsonian bias, indirect association, temporal association, specific association. ये सब क्या words है? Of course, ये words exam में आ सकते हैं. They can come in any exam, guys. It's not like it will only come in I N I set. Because this is a very common type of study design. Why are you writing A everyone? Which study design is this? पहले ये बताओ. and how do you know that it is that study design which type of study design is this see very very important thing we are doing is we are looking at the sale of anti asthma drugs were more in those countries beta countries so countries matlab here what is my unit of study no not descriptive not descriptive not cross sectional guys unit it's a very big hint unit of study is a country here see unit of study is a country so when i say unit of study is a country it means it is a population so when my unit of study is a country or a population guys kaun si study design ho jati hai automatically everybody it's a ecological study design right you have to be you know you have to keep on looking out for these buzzwords okay so here my unit of study is a country that means i'm studying a population so it becomes ecological study design but then i'm saying that when we do individual studies maybe this association is incorrect therefore it is ecological fallacy okay because the biggest problem in ecological study design is eco logical fallacy got it okay one golden point all study designs have what all study designs have individuals as unit of study okay have individuals as unit of study except ecological except ecological very good ecological is correlational study also theek hai everyone understood so i'll just tell you one thing whenever you have a cross sectional study okay and on the other hand you have an ecological study what is the difference between these two see cross sectional study and ecological this is also done at same point of time okay you determine exposure and outcome at same point of time for ecological also we are determining exposure and outcome at same point of time but in cross sectional what do we use guys primary data all right in ecological what do we use guys secondary data okay both are being done at same point of time but in cross sectional we use primary data and in ecological we use secondary data okay coming once more to this question fallacy means that you generalize the result of a population to an individual which they might not possess as individuals bergsonian bias is hospital admission bias okay which is a type of selection bias okay what is indirect association indirect association means we are referring to confounders temporal association matlab which study design helps us assess temporality guys that is again important please remember one thing temporal temporal ka matlab kya hota hai cause 
precedes effect okay if you smoke then only you will go on to develop lung cancer so which is the best study design which helps to establish temporality very good best study design which helps to establish temporality is cohort okay cause precedes effect agar tum smoke karoge to hi you will go on to develop lung cancer did you understand now look at this study look at this image ye kya hai if anybody asks you what is this image which study design is represented by an image like this can you tell me okay we are just discussing that point yes as dekho uh, hey external validity hoti hai na that whenever you do your study your on a sample it should the finding should be generalizable to the population okay that's a different thing and ecological is the finding of a population we are generalizing to an individual which they might not possess that's a different thing all right okay now what is this type of ye स्टडी डिजाइन है इकोलॉजिकल वेरी गुड इकोलॉजिकल में ये स्टडी दिखता है ये फोटो दिखता है विद स्टैटिस्टिकल डायग्राम इज दिस टूमोरो एट नाइन कल बट ये अब भी मुझे कोई बता सकता है ये कौन सा इमेज विच इज दिस स्टैटिस्टिकल इमेज का इज सो वी ऑल नो दिस इज अ स्कैटर डाइग्राम वेरी गुड पूर्वी दिस इज अ स्कैटर डाइग्राम नाउ स्कैटर डाइग्राम टेल्स अस अबाउट को रिलेशन ओके इट कल पढ़ेंगे ये सब इट टेल्स अस अबाउट को रिलेशन ओके देफो ecological study is also known as correlational study okay it's also known as correlational study it's also known as unit of study in an ecological study is population theek okay? hai so it is also known as population study plus if you see here we are studying countries like new zealand canada denmark तो हम लोग countries padh rahe hain right so this is also known as geographical study this is also known as aggregate study okay now yahan se what are you interpreting it's a positive correlation on x axis you have per capita daily meat consumption on y axis you have colon cancer incidence so it simply means that all those countries where there is more per capita meat consumption they report higher colon cancer incidence right iska matlab yahi hai na in sare countries mein jahan pe log zyada meat khate hain wahan pe colon cancer zyada hota hai so this i am collecting using secondary data okay i am collecting using secondary data now what is the problem in this that maybe the people who actually suffer from colon cancer are not taking high dietary meat okay jo log colon cancer se suffer kar rahe hain maybe wo zyada meat khate hi nahi hai so what did we do we generalized the findings of a population okay we generalize the findings of what we generalize the findings of a population to an individual okay to an individual which they might not have as individuals okay which they might not have as individuals okay might not have as individuals this is the problem this is what is known as ecological fallacy okay this is what is known as ecological fallacy this is positive correlation look at the graph look at the graph uh, surai look at the graph x axis mein likha hua hai those who eat they those countries where there is more meat consumption report higher colon cancer incidence right now what is the problem in this that the people who might actually be suffering from colon cancer okay might not be taking higher meat consumption or maybe wo vegetarians hai so we have generalized the findings of a population to an individual which they might not have as individuals got it everybody understood ecological fallacy okay this is very important for your upcoming ini ct also so please don't forget it theek hai maine tumhe sare designs ko identify karna bataya now just look at the image which study design is this if i zoom it can anyone tell me which study design is this can anyone tell me co coefficient ka scatter diagram in detail will be discussed tomorrow in biostats class okay now look at this image and can you tell me what are we doing which type of study design is this can you tell me how have i told you to identify a study design the first thing that you have to do you have to figure out exposure outcome then you have to figure out what are you comparing 
exposed with non exposed or can uh, uh, diseased with non diseased and then you have to figure out are you moving forward or are you moving backwards or are you standing at the same point of time so what is it guys look start of the study like we have started in 2023 and i have come i am taking a group obesity and lean now obesity is a risk factor right obese and non obese okay we can say obesity lean or we can say obese and non obese so what are we comparing everybody we are comparing exposed lean matlab non exposed right so hum log kya compare kar rahe hain we are comparing exposed with non exposed also look at the population we have taken 1 lakh 17000 nurses so it's a bigger sample and bigger sample is always in a cohort plus follow up dekho we are moving into the future plus we are comparing incidence now you all know incidence study kaun si study hoti hai incidence study guys incidence study is always a cohort study right incidence study is always a cohort study so we have a group of women we are comparing obesity lean and we are following them into the future to see the incidence so this becomes which one very good this one is prospective cohort okay now you can again ask me my why is it a cohort because you are comparing exposed to non exposed and you are moving forward in time all right theek hai so of course cohort helps us calculate incidence it helps us establish temporality will you be able to study multiple outcomes from this or multiple exposures of course i can follow them for incidence of any disease i want cancer cardiovascular kuch bhi so multiple outcomes okay we always study cohort say what multiple outcomes but now look at this image can you look at this image can you all look at this image and now tell me a similar type of question was asked in your exams ye kya hai which type of study design is this okay which type of study design is this now look at this you are starting in let's say 2023 only but what are you comparing you are starting in let's say 2023 only okay but what are you comparing is it a case control is it a case control riya manjot vinod so right case control hai kya compare kar rahe ho to pehle dekho just because we are starting at the current time and moving backwards as it become a case control what are you comparing i've always told you go in the order go in the order what are you comparing over here are you comparing any diseased group with non diseased mujhe to nahi dikh raha and your biggest hints you were comparing incidents can you ever calculate incidents from a case control no are you comparing uh, death and no death no you have started at the present time look at this first arrow the dotted white you are going backwards right you are going backwards and you have taken employees of a tire manufacturer into tire makers that means those who are directly dealing with the industry and like those who are directly dealing with tire making okay so tire makers here is the exposed group they are directly involved in tire making and clerical staff is the admin group so this is what this is the non exposed group okay and then there is again look at this arrow white one you are coming forward ever in a case control tum wapas aage aoge no in a case control aap kabhi bhi wapas aage nahi aoge you will stay at the back only and then you are comparing incidence of death how many have died in the tire maker groups why are how many versus how many have died in the clerical staff so just pay attention to one very small thing guys what are you comparing in a case control you will always compare cases with controls theek hai diseased with non diseased but here you start at the present time just to save money this is going to be cost effective because it's going to save my money instead of following them for years 
it is going to be time saving okay but i'm going to calculate incidence only and i'm going to establish temporality dono ho jayega so this becomes what this becomes a retrospective cohort or in other words what do you call it you also call it as a non concurrent cohort theek hai kya bolte hum isko non concurrent cohort also so look at this Identify the type prospective cohort no because I'm not moving into future case control no because I'm not comparing disease with non disease non concurrent cohort study yes cross sectional no because I'm not standing at the same point of time mixed cohort होता है both retrospective and prospective part combined is it clear you have to look at what you are comparing now suppose I'll just show you a example. Now suppose if this was a population, okay, and I started my study at the present time, and I was comparing cases and control, okay. Lung cancer, no lung cancer, and I was just going back like this, and asking about smokers. non smokers idhar bhi i was asking about smokers non smokers then guys this would have been a case control okay this would have been a case control are you understanding everybody this would have been a case control did you understand this theek hai because here your comparison group would have become lung cancer cases and no lung cancer is it clear everyone tab ye ho jata tumhara case control so look at what you are comparing okay are you comparing exposed non exposed if you are comparing exposed non exposed it's always a cohort theek okay? hai so can you tell me the answer to this retrospective cohort studies are characterized by all of the following except the study groups are exposed and non exposed incidence rates are compared required sample sizes smaller than that needed for a concurrent cohort required sample sizes similar to that needed for a concurrent cohort thing guys हम हमेशा कोहॉट में लुक एट सम कॉमन थिंग्स कोहॉट वेदर इट्स आई टोल्ड यू वेदर इट्स प्रोस्पेक्टिव और रेट्रोस्पेक्टिव योर स्टडी ग्रुप्स आर ऑलवेज एक्सपोज एंड नॉन एक्सपोज सो दिस इज ट्रू इन अ कोहॉट वेदर इट इज प्रोस्पेक्टिव और रेट्रोस्पेक्टिव यू विल ऑलवेज कैलकुलेट इंसिडेंट सो दैट इज ऑल्सो ट्रू रिक्वायर्ड सैम्पल साइज इज स्मॉलर नो इट्स नथिंग लाइक दैट required size is similar both in a cohort retrospective as well as prospective cohort i require a bigger sample size only sample size got it everybody whenever you talk about a cohort whether it's prospective or retrospective you are comparing exposed with non exposed you are comparing incidence rate and the third thing that we are doing is sample size dono mein similar hona chahiye okay look at this study design now what is this this is a mixed cohort okay here you have both retrospective and prospective part combined you start at the present time okay then you go back you've divided the population into exposed and non exposed determine the skin rash at the time the study begin and again following into the future for the cancer so this is what mixed cohort or ambispective cohort any problems can you hear me part combined you start okay so ambispective cohort is when you have both retrospective as well as pros outcomes so which is that ओके 
so what is the answer to this question okay i think now can you all see this question in studying the association between disease like bahar le jao no in studying the association between disease and exposure factor a study design which allows the study of multiple outcomes okay for a given exposure so what is it very good whenever you have to study multiple outcomes whenever you have to study multiple outcomes guys it is cohort okay but whenever you have to study multiple uh, exposures multiple exposures ke liye it is case control all right so this is a simple question so here your answer becomes a okay chalo let's have a look at some more questions quickly can you answer this which of the following statement is not correct i think now the now the voice will not break can we continue guys i think the voice will not break now can you just read it quickly a cohort study is more expensive in comparison to a case control study is it true or is it false a cohort study okay look at the first statement a cohort study is more expensive in comparison to case control study is it true or is it false some more questions quickly can you okay very good a cohort study is more expensive of course true a cohort study starts with people exposed to risk factor or suspected cause while case control starts with diseased and non diseased ye bhi true hai hai na a long follow up is needed with delayed results in cohort see unless and until it is mentioned we'll talk about a prospective cohort only okay we'll refer to a prospective cohort only so of course long follow up chahiye true a cohort study is more appropriate when disease or exposure under investigation is rare not the disease guys okay not the disease whenever you have a rare disease everybody jab bhi mere paas rare disease hoga we are going to do a which whenever you have a rare disease you will do a case control okay so remember this is the wrong answer yaad rakhna jab bhi bhi mere paas rare disease hoga we will do a case control and whenever we we will have a rare exposure guys what are we going to do we are going to do a cohort okay that is very very important okay by this month only march okay all right now let's quickly try to do uh, look at another study design ye kaun si study design hai which one is this study design yeah in case of rare occupational exposures very good shifali which type of study design is this can anyone tell me cohort is done for rare occupational exposure okay on the telegram group you can find the pdf okay on my telegram group what is the answer to this what is this very good this is a rct randomized control trial why is it a randomized control trial because our unit of study is patient and we are doing an intervention dekho एक को हम ट्रीटमेंट ग्रुप में डिवाइड कर रहे हैं दैट मीन्स वी आई माइट बी गिविंग अ न्यू ड्रग देर इज अनादर कंट्रोल ग्रुप वेयर वी आर गिविंग प्लेसीबो एंड देन वी आर फॉलोइंग दैम अप सो दिस इज अ आर सी टी नाउ माई ओनली क्वेश्चन टू यू इज वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ रैंडम इन रैंडमाइजेशन वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ रैंडम इन रैंडमाइजेशन गाइज रैंडम का मतलब क्या होता है सी जनरली रैंडम मीन समथिंग विच इज़ वेरी हैपज आर्ट बट इन एन आर सी टी इट मीन something which is very organized okay so random means every participant will get an equal and known chance okay equal and known chance of being distributed into either groups treatment group or control groups okay so it is going to eliminate two things very very important it eliminates what it eliminates number one selection bias and it eliminates both known and unknown confounders yaad rakhna randomization is the best technique to eliminate confounders okay both known as well as unknown confounders theek hai matching aap kis mein karte the matching is only done in a case control study design i'll just write two buzzwords for you please remember the term matching if you ever see the word matching in an mcq yaad rakhna that is being done in a 
केस कंट्रोल एंड मैचिंग इज गोइंग टू एलिमिनेट वॉट ओनली द नॉन कन्फाउंडर्स ओके मैचिंग एलिमिनेट्स द नॉन कन्फाउंडर्स बट वेन यू टॉक अबाउट रैंडमाइजेशन द गुड थिंग अबाउट रैंडमाइजेशन इज एलिमिनेट्स बोथ नॉन एंड अनोन कन्फाउंडर्स ओके इट एलिमिनेट्स वॉट नॉन एंड अनोन कन्फाउंडर्स बोथ कॉट एट एवरी वन दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बज वर्ड विच कैन कम इन योर एग्जाम्स ओके नाउ कैन यू टेल मी दी आंसर टू दिस स्ट्रेटिफाइड रैंडमाइजेशन इज द बेस्ट ओके आउट ऑफ रैंडमाइजेशन ऑल्सो वेरी गुड सुराय स्ट्रेटिफाइड रैंडमाइजेशन इज बेस्ट टू एलिमिनेट कन्फाउंडर्स ओके स्ट्रेटिफाइड रैंडमाइजेशन इज बेस्ट टू डू वॉट टू एलिमिनेट कन्फाउंडर्स आई हैव जस्ट रिटर्न द बज वर्ड्स फे यू नाउ वॉट इज द आंसर टू दिस क्रॉस ओवर स्टडी इज डन वेन what is a crossover study all the important study designs we have covered guys what is a crossover study control and case are same case and control are different control is same and case is different case is same and control is different so what is the answer to this that's the unique property of rct why dropouts are not included because rct may na a uh, randomization has this unique property okay which is known as intention to treat okay what happens in rct even if like you start with 100 500 patients okay and you divide them into two groups one is getting a new drug one is getting a placebo one group now you follow them up even if in between some people leave your study suppose 50 people leave your study in between in rct you can do an interim analysis okay interim analysis ka matlab kya hota hai in between analysis okay in between analysis that is what is interim analysis and therefore dropouts will not be ex- Excluded. Okay, they are counted in our final result. Got it? Okay, everybody understood. All right. Chalo. Now, what is the answer to this? So, th- this is an MCQ. This is a PYQ. Intention to treat a scene in a RCT. The crossover study is done when control and case are the same, guys. Okay, control and case are the same. Look over here. Control and cases are the same. This is a crossover trial. Can you see this? This is a crossover trial. ठीक है? You have two groups. एक को you are giving new drug, active treatment. एक को you are giving placebo. then you for start following them up then there is a period known as wash wash kya karta hai removes any residual effect okay removes any residual effect then what you do you cross them over those who are getting the active treatment suppose this is group a starts getting placebo those who are getting placebo starts getting the active treatment so every case is acting as its own control now why are we doing this crossover is se kya fayda hoga that every participant is going to get the new drug at least once har ek participant ko new drug milega at least once okay every participant is going to get the new drug at least once guys okay that is the most important thing plus it is more ethical is it clear everyone okay okay now let us just quickly see one more image two more images and then look at some screening mcqs where do you draw this image where do you draw this image blinding is done to eliminate bias okay some other time we'll be taking up questions on bias also blinding bias eliminate karta hai theek hai where the subject and the investigator both are blind ki kaun se group mein kaun gaya theek hai name this image guys what is this image and where do you draw this so we all know very good this is a funnel plot and this is drawn for both systematic review theek hai this is drawn for both systematic review and meta analysis theek hai kis mein draw hota hai systematic review as well as meta analysis why why is it drawn we'll just mention it it is drawn to check for publication bias very good to check for publication bias so if you see that the dots are scattered like over here no publication bias is present but if the dots are clustered at one end publication bias is there so systematic review and meta analysis are even better study designs okay one more image i wanted to show you from this thing can you see this one image ye kya hai 
what is this image this image is a forest plot okay this image is a forest plot okay and where do you draw this this is only drawn for a meta analysis meta analysis provides us with the maximum evidence okay of demonstrating causality sabse zyada evidence hame meta analysis hi deta hai is it clear so this one is a meta analysis mein draw hota hai ya forest plot this is a blob of gram okay all right now last thing from epit then we'll quickly go and see some uh, screening question see evidence based medicine please remember one thing evidence based medicine with study design provides us with the maximum evidence to establish causality so what do you do over here you arrange all your study designs in a hierarchy okay to establish causality from the weakest to the strongest so can you tell me what comes at the bottom most what comes at the bottom most which study design provides us the maximum evidence to establish causality okay so the study designs are arranged in a hierarchy to establish causality so sabse weak kaun hota hai descriptive so you will have a case report very good then you will have a case series then out of the observational study designs what are you going to have ecological because of ecological fallacy then you're going to have cross sectional then you're going to have case control then you're going to have cohort cohort may prospective okay then again you're going to have cohort retrospective why because it's saving time and money then you are going to have rcts then you are going to have systematic review or sabse upar hai meta analysis theek hai so meta analysis is the gold standard of evidence based medicine okay gold standard of what gold standard of ebm okay it provides us maximum evidence what does it do it provides us maximum evidence to establish causality please remember this this is a very very important question nested case control is done for rare investigations okay um that is prospective in nature we'll do that in image based session all right okay so this was about epid let's have a quick look at some of the questions from screening guys okay so that your preparation for screening is also done i've tried to sum up all the study designs for you and you know numericals we'll be dealing in a different class uh, how to calculate uh, certain numericals in epid but right now let's just try to you know have a overview of epid all study designs we have done now tell me quickly what is the answer to this ability of a screening test to identify correctly all those who have the disease kya hai iska answer hmm simple sa question hai what is the ability of a screening test to identify all those who have the disease just a second okay very good very good what is the answer to this most of you are getting it correct it is sensitivity ability of a screening test to identify correctly all those who have the disease so jinke jinke paas disease hai that is sensitivity and if i ask you all those who do not have the disease specificity is all those who all those who do not have disease okay all those who do not have disease kya hai specificity theek hai and what is positive predictive value so i'll just give you we'll see the numerical also what is the answer to this first tell me the answer probability that a person out of those tested positive on a screening test has in fact the disease ye kya hai then we'll see from 2 by 2 table okay what is the answer to this probability that a person out of those tested positive on a screening test has in fact the disease what is the answer to this you've come screening test positive so what are the chances that you actually have the disease very good ye positive predictive value hai and probability that a person out of those 
टेस्टेड नेगेटिव ऑन अ स्क्रीनिंग टेस्ट डू नॉट हैव द डिजीजेस नेगेटिव प्रिडिक्टिव वैल्यू ओके सो लेट्स क्विकली लुक एट अ टू बाई टू टेबल वेट आई गिव यू अ न्यूमेरिकल सो इट विल और आवर फर्स्ट लेट्स लुक एट अ टू बाई टू टेबल सपोज दिस इज डिजीज येस नो ऑलवेज योर डिजीज इज ऑन द कॉलम साइड दिस इज द स्क्रीनिंग टेस्ट ओके दिस इज द स्क्रीनिंग टेस्ट पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव ये हो गया ए बी सी डी ऑलवेज रिमेंबर इट्स ए बी सी डी नेवर ए बी सी डी ठीक है इट्स ऑलवेज ए बी सी डी सो वॉट इज ए यू हैव द डिजीज एंड स्क्रीनिंग टेस्ट इज ऑल्सो पॉजिटिव ठीक है सो दिस इज ट्रू पॉजिटिव All right. What is B? You don't have the disease, but screening test says no. You are having the disease. So this is false positive. Okay. In the first row, you can see all are positives. Now what is C, guys? You have the disease, but screening test says that you don't have the disease. So this is false negative. And what is D? You don't have the disease, and screening test is also saying that you don't have the disease. So this is true negative. So in the second row we have all negatives. In the first row we have all positives. In the second row we have all negatives, guys. Now what is sensitivity? Can anyone tell me from the formula? Ability of a screening test to identify correctly all those who have the disease. So यहाँ पे disease कितनों में है? TP plus FN. and screening test has identified it in tp right what is specificity ability of a screening test to identify correctly all those who do not have the disease so disease is not present in tn plus fp and screening test has identified it in tn all right so that is it what is ppv all positives you have been tested positive by a screening test do you actually have the disease or not so how many have been tested positives see look at the first row tp plus fp now do you actually have the disease or not tp and what is npv you have been tested negative by a screening test so do you actually not have the disease so how many have been tested negative by a screening test see tn plus fn isme se kitno mein actually disease nahi hai tn so how can you remember this guys always remember how can you remember for positive predictive value it's all positives for negative predictive value it's all negatives okay All right. In the denominator, in I mean, in the formula for positive predictive value, it's all positives. But in negative predictive value, it's all negatives. Got it? Everybody clear? Did you understand this question? So, out of sensitivity, specificity, PPV, NPV, which is the most useful property of a screening test? Yad rakna. Which is most useful property of a screening test? So, the most useful property of a screening test is sensitivity i want to filter out all those who are developing the disease okay like in a population if i miss out on those who are developing a disease that's a blunder so i want to filter out all those who are developing a disease okay so most useful property is sensitivity Got it, everyone? Will you remember these formulas? Okay. Few more questions lined up. Iska answer batao. Just quickly mark the correct formula for sensitivity here. What is the formula for sensitivity here, everybody? What is the formula for sensitivity uh, here? Very good. We just did it. Identify all those who have the disease. So T P upon T P plus F N. What is specificity? All those who do not have the disease. So T N upon T N plus F P. This one is specificity. Then what have I told you? Remember P P V all positives. So this is P P V. Remember N P V all negatives. So predictive values have diagnostic performance. performance okay but when you talk about most useful property it is always sensitivity theek okay? hai we'll just do two numericals from this also okay first this batao quickly for the calculation of npv the denominator is so now i want to calculate npv so what is the denominator i've told you 
NPV means all negatives. So, so what will be your answer over here? Very good guys. True negative plus false negative. All negatives. Okay. Alright. Let's look at some other questions which can come in your exams. Oh, this we have already discussed, but Batado is called best study design to establish causality. We have just done it, the evidence-based pyramid. Batao, which one is the best study design? If you if you arrange your studies in an order, sabse acha in me se konsa hai, guys. In me se konsa hai. Remember, longitudinal study is also like a prospective cohort only. Okay. So which one is the best out of this when you arrange your study designs in an order? Cross sec ecological was below, fair cross sectional tha, fair case control tha, very good. Non concurrent cohort because that is a retrospective cohort, everyone. Okay, alright. Now we are just going to do one numerical for you. Okay, before that, from screening, what is the usual time of diagnosis? This is a very important image-based question. Can you quickly tell me what is the usual time of diagnosis? Now see, screening is which level of prevention? Screening. If I ask you, screening. Screening, kaun se level of prevention hai? Batao. Screening is which level of prevention, everybody? So screening, we all know is secondary level of prevention right it's secondary level i mean we want to find out about or can we identify a disease before a person develops signs and symptoms yes we can do it that is what screening is helping us do right okay so now what is point b b is the first possible point of diagnosis okay first possible point of diagnosis what is x x is the critical point okay critical point of diagnosis what is y y is the usual time okay usual time now when i say usual time of diagnosis at point y the person is presenting with signs and symptoms okay person go signs and symptoms hey guys but can we identify a disease before before the person presents with signs and symptoms, yes, that is by the technique of screening. So, which is at point B. So, instead of applying a test at point Y, if I apply a test at point B, I am leading in the early detection of a disease by B2Y. So, this B2Y is what is known as lead time. Okay? B2Y in double ko hum lead time bolte. All right, like see, technically disease ka by identify karoge when the person presents with signs and symptoms. But can I identify a disease before the person presents with signs and symptoms? Yes. Okay. So critical point means that if you want to gain some advantage of a screening in real sense, okay, at least apply the point till x okay it's the critical point okay like in this the person can start having prodromal features also so if you want to gain a little advantage of screening at least to test ko point x tak laga do which is the critical time okay panda okay deva dev did you understand dev all right okay but most important is my question to you is can you identify a disease before the person has signs and symptoms Yes, by screening. All right. So, in case you are able to identify a disease at point B, when the person does not have signs and symptoms, instead of point Y, when he was presenting with signs and symptoms, it is going to need uh, known as lead time. Okay. All right. One last, uh, this thing I want to do is an MCQ. Can you quickly calculate the sensitivity and specificity over here? This is HIV present. HIV absent. Can you tell me the sensitivity and specificity? See, users is the same. Tumne, you were able to prolong the survival period. Okay, you were you did not let the cancer progress to a stage where we cannot provide timely, like we cannot, we won't be able to save the person. Okay, so what is the answer over here? Sensitivity, specificity, easier. You know, sensitivity is ability to identify all those who have the disease. This is TP, FP, first row, all positives. This is FN and this is TN, right? So, sensitivity will be 
identify all those who have the disease so tp gold standard will identify it in tp plus fn so 80 upon 100 and what is specificity all those who do not have the disease so how many don't have the disease over here you can see this for uh, a tn plus fp usme se screening test will tell in tn so again this is 100 and this is 60 so this is 60 percent got it everyone understood okay all right so that's it for today i think uh, we have uh, been able to discuss a lot of things guys please remember i have just summed up epidence screening some important points for you please remember this one very small thing that an academy is giving you 25% off on your medical PG subscription okay till March 2031st so you can use my code we have a number of batches which are starting there is a next batch okay which is starting all right to help you in your next preparation everybody okay so if you are aiming for this you can join it you can use PSM 10 currently we'll have this for 21580 plus you can get an access to recorded as well as live classes now okay so the uh, combo offer is running till March 31 guys okay both recorded and live classes so I'll see you tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. we will be doing biostats okay we will be doing biostats all right everybody so thank you so much have a good day and I'll see you soon bye bye Keep revising, keep studying and uh, take care of your health also.